Imagine you were very confident that we were going to be visited by super intelligent aliens. Space has always been a realm of boundless wonder and mystery, captivating the human imagination for centuries, while scientific exploration has unveiled many of its secrets. In today's episode, we are presenting some mind-boggling theories about space. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you're curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. The Simulation Theory could it be that we exist within a computer program? If you find that idea strange or crazy, it's understandable. But some people believe in the simulation theory. This theory suggests that everything we see and experience, including the whole universe, is just a giant computer-made simulation created by advanced beings. It may sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it has its roots in a paper written by an Oxford professor named Nick Bostrom in 2003. The core idea is that a super smart civilization, much smarter than us, could make simulations that are so realistic that the people inside them, which could be us, wouldn't even know they're in a simulation. They'd think it's the real world. Some folks who support this theory point to how quickly technology is advancing, like virtual reality and computer games. They wonder if someday our video game characters might become so smart that they can act like real people. But this theory can get pretty wild. Some people ask, could we be the creation of an ancient civilization that lived on Earth millions of years ago and changed so much that they're not like us anymore? Or are we characters in a game controlled by a super powerful player? Maybe what some people call God. Messages from space humans have been using radio telescopes to explore the universe since the late 1950s. And so far, they haven't found any concrete evidence of extraterrestrial life. However, there have been a few instances that raised eyebrows without providing clear answers. One of the most famous occurrences was in 1977, when astronomer Jerry Amon, while using Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Telescope, to hunt for possible radio signals from space, stumbled upon something extraordinary. He named it the WOW Signal after writing down that single word next to his findings. What he recorded that day was an intense signal originating from the Evanin Sagittarius star system, lasting for 72 seconds. Unfortunately, the signal was a one-time event and has never been fully explained though it injected some much-needed excitement into the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI, program, which was starting to lose momentum. As technology improved over the past few decades, there have been several promising leads. Projects like the Breakthrough Listen program recorded signals from a small red star called Proxima Centauri and signals from the YZ SETI system along with its orbiting rocky exoplanet known as WISE CTB. Additionally, the Carl G. Jansky Very Large Array of Telescopes in New Mexico has detected intriguing signals. However, one common explanation used to dismiss these findings involves the existence of pulsars, which are highly dense and rapidly rotating neutron stars resulting from the collapse of massive stars following a supernova explosion. Due to their rapid rotation, pulses appear to blink and emit intense electromagnetic radiation from their poles, resembling giant lighthouses. Here's where it gets a bit strange. While pulses are entirely natural, there exists a fringe theory suggesting that an advanced civilization could potentially manipulate pulses to send messages to Earth. They might even use pulsar waves as some form of intergalactic highway to propel spacecraft at significantly faster speeds than would otherwise be possible. In a 2014 paper published in New Astronomy, 
it was proposed that radio waves emitted by pulses could be encoded with information sent from a satellite orbiting nearby, or even more radically, by constructing a structure around the pulsar to place messages directly in front of the emitting waves. This could then be used to listen for messages returning from distant space. The Mulitiverse Hypothesis One of the most intriguing ideas in space science is the Multiverse Hypothesis. It suggests that there might be many other universes out there, not just our own. This idea may sound strange, but it's been around for a long time, starting with some ancient Greek thinkers and getting more attention over the years. Imagine our universe as a tiny dot among countless other universes. Even though this helps us think about it, it's important to know there's no clear proof that the multiverse is real. However, some scientists find it interesting because it could help explain some tricky questions. For example, the Big Bang Theory tells us how our universe began, but it doesn't say what happened before that. The multiverse idea suggests that there were many other Big Bangs, each creating a different universe. Some even think these universes have their own rules and realities. This could help explain why our universe seems to be just right for life to exist. Theory of White Hole A black hole forms when a massive star runs out of fuel and collapses under its own gravity. This collapse creates an area in space with incredibly strong gravity, pulling everything in, including light. The space immediately surrounding a black hole is called the event horizon, and once something crosses it, it's trapped inside the black hole. What happens inside a black hole is still largely a mystery, but one idea is that black holes might act as wormholes connecting different worlds or even universes, maybe even forming a kind of multiverse superhighway if you combine these theories. Now, let's introduce the concept of white holes. Think of them as the opposite of black holes. Instead of pulling things in, they expel everything out. While we haven't directly observed white holes, they've captured the imaginations of scientists, science fiction writers, and some internet enthusiasts. This idea comes from Einstein's theory of gravity, although his idea of a singularity within a black hole, where nothing could escape, seems to pose a challenge to the white hole concept, especially its connection to wormholes. Even though white holes are mostly theoretical, they are intriguing. Some wonder if they could hold the key to time travel or play a role in the complex fabric of space and time. And here's one more mind-boggling thought. What if the Big Bang, the event that created our universe, was the result of a white hole? What if everything that's been expanding from it for the last 13.9 billion years came from a completely different place or time? Poirotic Universe Theory Ekpyrotic theory, also known as the less fancy Big Splat theory, offers a cosmological model proposing that our universe came into being through the collision of two higher dimensional worlds, referred to as brains, which are part of a more complex structure beyond our grasp. According to this idea, a universe is born when two of these membranes collide. This collision transforms their kinetic energy into matter and energy, sparking the intense eruption we call the Big Bang and giving rise to life. This fiery explosion pushes the two membranes apart, causing them to accelerate away from each other. However, these theories also suggest that the universe and life within it follow a cyclical pattern. Eventually, the two membranes slow down and start moving back towards each other. When they collide once again, another Big Bang occurs. This cycle repeats, creating two entirely different universes, likely in forms quite distinct from our current one, and the entire process starts anew, 